especially after Orca scored. Yes, Jörg. Yeah. Okay, think. thank you very much. <laughs> that would be a funny YouTube uh, channel. It, it will be say hilarious. Say something, thank you. Yeah, hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. We will, we will okay, be let's go back to the, to the actual, let's focus. The next game, Castor Sakaran. Yes, this, this is this is a money game, the money changing game. Who will be the champion of uh, this tournament in a woman? And I think that we will see two different styles in playing. Uh, Akaren is uh, um, cooler in the play, with like uh, the the building up of these uh, waves, and Castoris play uh, uh, faster with a little bit more swimming, lot more, a little bit more agile in their attack. Do we have a guess? I mean, I think Akaren is going to win. Uh, I think so far they, they they show more tactic, more cold heads, more... I mean, Castor has done a great job, but I believe, for what I've seen, that Akaren could make it. That will be my guess. Uh, maybe on the paper Akaren is a favorite, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's a very tough, tough and yeah. open yes, game. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and Akaren are ready for a surprise, I think. And uh, I think uh, based on the first goal, will basically decide who will win. Yes. So if uh, the Castores are able to make a goal, it will be very difficult for, for the others, uh, for Akan, to get back in the, in the game because uh, the small Colombian girls are uh, always intense and uh, in the defense and uh, this is, uh, uh, has to have, that you have to overcome. Yep. The, the, the thing, the, the, as we said before in the games, the pressure on the Castores is very hard. They came a long way uh, to play in this championship and uh, um, Karen are uh, uh, used to the Champions Cup, they're used to these big tournaments, so it's a different way to, to approach it. I think uh, Castores are coming more from uh, fire and heart, and uh, Akaren is more a cool uh, working machine of underwater rugby, which is not, I'm not judging, it's just a different style probably we will see. Yeah, they are two completely different uh, ways of, I mean, tactical games, so I'm really curious what's going to happen in this game. Well, uh, Robert uh, Bock, we, I had a big laugh here uh, on your post uh, um, on the live stream chat because uh, you say, uh, okay, my Spanish improved uh, heavily. We had that yesterday, somebody logged in uh, and uh, apparently uh, they, they log in with their own name, but this plate is another name. So uh, congratulations to, for learning Spanish uh, within uh, some seconds. <laughs> Very good. Bueno, eh, ahora vamos a tener a las Castoras jugando contra el equipo de Akaren de Noruega por la final. La que gane este partido eh, es la campeona de la Champions Cup del 2016 eh, de, las, eh, de la categoría femenina. Eh, estamos eh, diciendo que son dos tipos de juego completamente diferentes. Eh, por ser la final se juegan dos tiempos de 15 minutos. Yo... So, eh, Creo que, o sea, va a ser un juego muy, muy eh, justo, muy jugado, pero yo creo que eh, es posible que las chicas de, de Noruega ganen. Por lo que he visto, eh, eh, cómo manejan la táctica, la técnica y la, la disciplina que tienen. Pero eh, es solo una opinión. Vamos a ver eh, qué pasa. Bueno, el juego ya empezó. Ah. So uh, here we are in the game. Uh, uh, we have uh, Castores in blue and uh, Karen uh, from Norway. Castores from Colombia and uh, Karen. Wow. Well, a goal from a Karen. So. Okay. This is. Uh, can, I, can I say I say so? <laughs> yes, no. you no, can no, no, say no. whatever just, you want. No, no, no. It's a free country. No, I know, but people are complaining that uh, we have to be careful what we say because yesterday we say one thing and we uh, we were wrong. And it's not about winning or being wrong. It's just about giving a guess and and just uh, sharing what our thoughts are. And uh, it's not uh, to put uh, any negative uh, uh, lucky comment. for you all we cannot predict the future we are just commentators so we comment what we see and uh, we take no sides it's just uh, a professional guess 
So uh, don't feel attacked. Uh, we have this a lot, and don't take it personal. And this is and sports commentating. And take free to switch off the sound of yeah, uh, your exactly. Livestream. You like you don't like what you hear. There is a button to switch off the sound, and it's quite easy. So we can watch the game in peace and uh, judge and uh, uh, bet whatever you want. So uh, let's go into the game and do what we can do best: commentating here, uh, uh, live stream. And our uh, uh, mission statement is uh, eyes to speech. Okay, Jörg, you want to start? Yeah, uh, I can't start uh, to attack from the open side uh, the with uh, a quite good ball control. And uh, I think it would be smart not to be too aggressive for the f attack the goal directly, more to control the game and then uh, the pressure increase step by step but uh, good attack from the from the from the top lifting the the goalkeeper and uh, the, the the other norwegian player came a little bit too late uh, to score but uh, a very good attack from the surface so my would be recommendation would be to keep the pressure high on uh, the castor's goal and uh, then it uh, automatically runs in your direction. Um. But understand, we are not coaches of any of these no. teams. We are, we are just, just seeing the same picture and uh, talking about what we see. Yeah, what we if think. people we have a different opinion, and that's We are all free to have different opinions. I mean, and that's, uh, mm. I think it's just interesting to, to, to give our opinion because we have been watching absolutely all the games, so we have maybe a bit of a better insight. What It doesn't mean that we're going to be right or wrong, and it's not about being right or wrong. It's just about having a bet, having a guess, and and see if we understand the game the way we saw it. And so um, let's see. I mean, already 1 0 for a current, uh, but you know, a still the game can change. We have 11 minutes to go from this time, another half of 15 minutes, so still everything is open. Okay, free throw for Castores and uh, Akaren is well positioned in the uh, defend position. Already recover the ball, make a pass and try to swim uh, a counter attack. Uh, these girls are very disciplined uh, with the counters. You will, will see always at least two or even three. And um, so they need, I mean, they, uh, they, they were able to, to swim free through the, the pool and they shouldn't, Casotas shouldn't let them get closer to the goalie because the, every one of these uh, Akaren players know exactly how to attack and they're very dangerous once they get in contact with the goalie. We've seen them in action and we know this is the way they are. So you're watching uh, one, of the last, uh, the, the one of the last games here. Champions Cup and you have an attack from, a Karen, uh, from uh, Castores on the uh, basket of a Karen. And this is quite dangerous. There yeah, was a That was big a great gap. counter from the uh, Castores. And they pushed with really... Oh, here we go. There's a goal. No, 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 no. There was, there was no, a pushing without was holding. goal. There was no a goal. pushing without goal before that goal uh, was... Uh, there was no, no goal. It was no goal. It was 1-0. Because there was a pushing without goal. And uh, the call from the referee was before the goal uh, was uh, uh, called. So pushing before the goal, the call from the referee, no goal. It's still one. Uh, it's still one zero for Akaren, uh, and it was the right call from the referee. Yes. But it was close and it was yeah, a very was dangerous a situation. Counter, and yeah. uh, uh, we see how dangerous uh, Castores are if they swim through to the basket of Akaren and uh, are allowed to attack. We have now a cluster on the surface right above. Uh, the Castores uh, basket and uh, the one Castores player breaks free, tries to swim away from the surface, doesn't succeed, has no uh, uh, station to play to and, uh, and uh, there is a cluster now and uh, results by, uh, um, um, by the current player 
and uh, they go forward. Three are current players now on the close side. Uh, they they try to play safe from the uh, closed corner. And uh, here we go. Akarin comes from uh, above. Uh, already yeah. one on the open side. Uh, the other player tries to swim above uh, the goalkeeper and pass through the open side, but is stopped by a forechecking player from Castores. And now we have... Uh, uh, they are, uh, the ball is uh, right in front of the basket in the uh, open um, on the bottom. And uh, Castores try to, to play it on the safe side and uh, no the uh, current plays to on the safe side and then attack from the close side and build uh, their attack mode they do quite a good job uh, in keeping the ball in their position and uh, this is uh, the best thing and now the uh, castores, castores recovered the ball and it's trying they to in she intercepted a pass very well done ball outside of the playing area and it's a free throw against uh, uh, castores this is a tactic that the uh, Norwegians do a lot also. Instead of trying to recover the ball, they push you out of the uh, game area, which is very clever. No fue un gol porque hubo o um, empujaron, cometieron una falta, tocó, o sea, los, los referees pitaron antes de que, solen, de, que, de que metieran el gol y era porque la jurada de Castora estaba sin el balón empujando a la portera. Entonces cobraron falta y no cobró el gol. O sea, la falta la cobraron antes del gol. No lo anularon, no fue gol. No lo anularon, no fue gol porque los referees pitaron antes del gol por la falta que estaba cometiendo el atacante de Castores empujando a la portera sin el balón. So if now the Castores stop the, the forechecking, that would be of course uh, more terrible. And we see Akan controlling the ball in the in a, in a distance of the basket. Yeah, so they can take the time. Uh, yeah. So they have to be the careful because they now the Castores has a counter attack, but they have early forechecking which uh, hampers the counter attack of the Castores. So let's see how the Colombian girls can overcome that uh, because they need basically speed coming out. But if you're always under pressure on the go on the goal, it's difficult to switch from the defense mode to the offense mode also with a uh, lot of confidence and uh, a current place it uh, safe here uh, they yeah try i guess that that uh, counter uh, <laughs> wake them up and realize they cannot play too confident yeah not too open uh, and uh, castores are in ball possession uh, on the closed corner side of the current basket uh, but uh, they they they're not able to to reach the basket because uh, they are uh, disturbed, their their attack pattern is disturbed all the time by uh, a current forechecking, and uh, it's five minutes left in this first half, and uh, the time works in favor now uh, for a current. They can uh, hide behind their defense, and uh, if the forechecking uh, keeps continuing like that, uh, they they are. Uh, uh, very able to control the game uh, without being uh, in danger of being under pressure. Th right now, they, it's, it's, it's an easy game for them um, because there is no pressure, real pressure on the basket. Even the, the defenders can, can go out and help in the forechecking and defend uh, the, the farther perimeter of uh, the goal. And it doesn't help if a Castores waits on the other side of the basket if it's too far away for uh, her teammates to to bring the ball, so uh, keeping them at distance, um, wear them out. Uh, they have to swim a lot, uh, um, keep them uh, busy. But the clock is ticking. Four minutes, less than five minutes. Call from the referee. Probably it's pushing without ball. Yeah, already holding pushing. without ball. Sí, las chicas de Castor en, eh, Free throw está, against es una pena. Estaban atacando muy bien, pero de vuelta eh, una de las chicas de Castores empujó a la portera sin balón. Y eso los referees lo pitan mucho. Eh, ahora, por ejemplo, tienen un tiro libre en su contra y les ha interrumpido eh, el ataque que estaban haciendo. Eh, no, claro. Eh, sí, eh, yo sé so, que hay gente que por ahí está mirando que no conoce exactamente las reglas o, o uno a veces no se da cuenta eh, 
que, que, que realmente se está empujando eso tiene que tener un poco un ojo clínico de, eh, cuando uno juega al rugby se da cuenta de esas cosas y los referí lo ven un poquito mejor así que claro it's a really uh, a difficult situation of castores because they have to uh, uh, push hard and this is a good uh, spot a good good, good uh, Uh, possibility ah, for them to score eso fue muy cerca, eh? Ahí because se there was uh, no defender on the basket two Castores player coming in and uh, there were gaps uh, in the uh, goalie defense uh, on top of the basket so this was dangerous and uh, like I said it's difficult for uh, Castores because they have to push hard but uh, if they push and risk uh, um, to, to, get a, uh, to, to get a call from uh, Um, the referee and get a free throw against them. They have to build up momentum again. So it's a difficult situation for them. They have to go in, but they don't want to lose the ball. And uh, accidentally, they got a free throw against them. But um, Akaran is playing it uh, quite safe. Uh, they take out the speed of the game and uh, use their... Uh, Now have a counter-attack, but we have three of their current players already into position and uh, in between the ball and the basket already. Mm. The, the Akaran game to stop uh, the counter-attacks is quite effective. They prevent uh, Castores from passing to each other. Pushing without ball. Pushing without ball, but from an Akaran. So uh, now it is... This is uh, in favor of, uh, of, of Castores. Castores. Here we go, free throw executed, and uh, same situation uh, already on a current player uh, locking the... Well, that was a good punch from the current player, but the, the ball was recovered by the Colombian player. It's two minutes from the last, from the first uh, half, and what happened there? There's a referee, Call from the referee. pointing out to player, we can't see. Oh, there's a Castores uh, player going down to the current basket. Oh, there's a free throw for them and the a current uh, wow, the Castores that was player a great recovering of the ball. Uh, but stole the basket. It was a little miss. It looks like a middle misunderstanding with the current yeah. players with the free throw. So Castores were able to steal the basket, but a current solved the the problem uh, by stopping they the they attack. They are very strong in the fourth yes. checking. I mean, that there was a good. risky situation, but they had it under control. And, and you don't see it in the body language that they get upset, desperate, frustrated. No. They're it so it's calm yeah. in the body language, at least. It's, it's amazing. It's like what I said. It's like a cool machine uh, going into gears, and they do it quite well and concentrated. Um, it, it's interesting to see these different styles, and you see the the castores are annoyed, uh, like uh, uh yeah, you can see the body language. They're really, you know, uh, tensed, are upset. Tense, tense, yeah. yeah, understandably. Um, but uh, it's like I, I guess it's. Uh, Uh, the different uh, styles coming here together and in the, this case with a current leading 1-0 it's in their favor to play it cool uh, less than a minute left in the first half um, call from the referee can't see free, free throw. throw against Castores uh, against half a minute no against no. Uh, against a current okay they change it against a current But it's a nicer game than uh, yesterday. It's a much more flow. Uh, it's amazing, you know. Uh, both games. Uh, I mean, Langen against uh, Akaren and, and now uh, uh, Colombia against uh, uh, Akaren is had so much more flow than the game we saw between Casoras and Langen. That it was just all the time in the safe phase uh, clustering. Two one zero. End of the first half here. Akaren uh, leading. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, what is the the English word for vorletzte? Das vorletzte Spiel. That's uh, the game before the last one. The, one the game before the last uh, uh, game here. Uh, thank you, my co-moderators uh, Jörg and uh, Lorena, both uh, world champions. <laughs> So uh, 
um, yes, it's uh, the game before the last game here, a Karen against Castores. Uh, the winner of this game, Castores in the, from Colombia in blue, and a Karen uh, white in Norway, will be the winner of the female Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. Sí, estamos viendo un desempeño muy bueno de los dos equipos. Eh, dos estilos completamente diferentes eh, y los dos equipos han, han tenido mm, situaciones en las que se han descuidado, lamentablemente para las castoras, eh, a Karen pudo eh, utilizar y explotar más el descuido que eh, al revés y si bien tuvieron un par de posibilidades buenas para meter el gol, las chicas de Akaren pudieron realmente sacar las papas del fuego como decimos en Argentina y... Todavía tenemos 1 a 0 para Karen, eh, todavía está todo abierto porque la verdad es que los dos equipos han tenido situaciones de peligro de, y, y de casi ejecutar un gol, pero lo que estamos diciendo nosotros es que desde la, el lenguaje corporal que podemos ver las chicas de a Karen es como que tienen una cabeza más fría y las chicas de Castores se las ve un poquito más... Eh, como, no quiero decir nerviosas, sino como as agitadas, eh, quizás un poco enojadas consigo mismas porque se descuidaron al principio y ahora se le está complicando un poco. Entonces eso puede influir en, en la toma de decisiones y en el juego mismo. Si bien están jugando muy bien, eh, la, nosotros tenemos ese temperamento de los americanos que a veces nos puede y a veces nos juega en contra o a favor. Así que vamos a ver si en estos 15 minutos las chicas de Castores pueden utilizar eh, ese corazón latino sí, que tenemos mío. para um, alcanzar a, a las chicas de Karen, para meter al menos un gol y, bueno, o ganar el partido. So, um, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this was, uh, this is the uh, uh, game before the last game uh, here on Champions Cup 2016. The last game will be uh, Molde against Bamberg, the final of this Champions Cup for the men. This is the final for the women. Um, you've seen uh, two, probably some of the games, uh, three days of uh, underwater rugby, uh, worldwide biggest tournament for underwater rugby. Uh, we had uh, 14 nations here, 24 teams from all over the world, 14 men team and 10 women teams. Um, we have newcomers here from uh, Australia, first time in the Champions Cup, and we have uh, new teams never been here before uh, from the U.S., uh, first uh, women's team from the U.S., from Newark, and uh, men team uh, from the U.S., uh, Newark haven't been here before, but we had teams from the U.S. Uh, in this Champions Cup. So, uh, yes, uh, this is incredible because uh, we were talking a lot about uh, this uh, Champions Cup uh, with uh, with Winne and uh, Lorena planning, thinking, and uh, to be finally uh, in the last uh, last f game or the last before the, the one before the last games is uh, a strange feeling. So here we go, the last uh, half of uh, the game, Akaren game uh, against Castores. And uh, Akaren is leading 1-0 uh, against the Castores. Akaren from Norway in white and Castores from Colombia in blue. And let's see what uh, the Castores uh, talked uh, in the break because they have to equalize and uh, probably even uh, score two times to win this game or, e or probably go into the penalty with Akaren. Hey, tenemos toda la gente de Colombia opinando. <laughs> Eh, qué es lo que tendrían que por ahí mejorar las castoras eh, les falta definir, tenemos a las chicas de Akaren, a ver qué cobraron los jueces ahora penalty, penalty en contra de las castoras, aparentemente eh, we have a penalty against this castoras tough. this is tough uh, for the beginning of the, the second half apparently uh, the, the, the shoulder in the basket if, if, if you had a plan, if the, the castoras uh, had a plan to go forward and play more aggressive on the basket of Akaren and uh, they were under pressure, got a penalty, and this uh, breaks your plans uh, for, for uh, the start of the second half. So let's see how this goes. Um, We have seen that uh, Akaren is a strong Yeah, but uh, Castores are also quite able yes, to, yes. to deal with the penalty as goalkeepers. The, 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 uh, the problem is that the uh, um, Norwegians are a little bit larger, have longer arms and legs, and that could be really... If, if so the Akaran uh, attacker is coming from above, swimming into the fins of the Castores and managed to be under the basket, lifting her up, and she tried to push the ball uh, 
threw her hands, but Very the talent well player so uh, the did, did a good job to push Muy out the ball before it was inside uh, the basket. Vamos so she goes for a second attack, tries it again over the... Uh, uh okay, this was... Uh, sh the Castores player was out of air and uh, she went up uh, without uh, resistance and uh, left uh, the, the, the basket, basket open. Uh, definitely happened because she fought hard and uh, yeah, the movement of the legs consumes so and much air. We, ha we have to understand uh, these uh, players are under a lot of pressure and this pressure prevents you from relaxing. Time out for Castores, I think, but uh, if, you, if you are not relaxed in this moment, and I think both uh, Jörg and uh, Lorena will agree with me as a goalkeeper, you have to you have to relax before a penalty, otherwise if you start hyperventilating, you're lost. I love the stories that uh, Jörg has about his greatest... You have 37 uh, seconds, go! <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Uh, actually, I, I finished the, the, the defending the goal always earlier, because I had not so much air. I, 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 showed, I showed always uh, a space on my shoulder. So and you left the gap? Yes, yes. I, le I left the gap so and, and the people looked at the gap yeah, and at that moment I could take the ball like yeah. taking out of the hands. Lorena so does that too. Uh, Lorena says, so you, you uh, uh, forced the, the, the attacker to go for this gap and uh, you finished the, the penalty because you... You planned it. it. was your plan. Yeah, yeah basically exactly. this was my <laughs> only chance because <laughs> I can not hold 45 seconds. Yeah, he always said, you know, That's he really needed great. to do the condition work, so he did the clever the mind work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back in the game uh, here. Uh, and now the Castores uh, have, uh, have to throw in everything they can. Um, but uh, Karen uh, is, is uh, well able to break Four and stop the... Four people in the, the uh, checking. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that means uh, that they're now uh, hot to win this game. They have the two goals in the lead. So that gives them the good confidence. And if they now control the, the, the ball, uh, it's I would say it's done game. So uh, 12 minutes left. Uh, I think uh, Castores are pretty able eh, to score if they Berlin are... No está a la altura. Berlin está a cero. Y las chicas yo pensé que eran de Bogotá, pensé que Bogotá estaba más alto, estaban en los, en los Andes o no sé, que alguien me aclare. Eh, aquí estamos a cero, o sea que en realidad siempre la gente que viene de Colombia tiene un poquito de beneficio porque si vienen de Cali, de Medellín, de Bogotá, hacen entrenamientos en altura y tienen más aire normalmente. Pero bueno, o sea... Eh, ¿Qué tipo de portera abandona la portería? Una portera que está cansada y, y, es, y, y están haciendo un, 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 un juego muy físico. Eh, y las, la, la gente de, de Akaren tiene mucha experiencia, es muy fuerte, tienen brazos largos, piernas largas. Es, o sea, Here we go. Karen, uh, no Karen plays it uh, safe and clever. Uh, they stay in the corner and uh, there, is, uh, there is not that much forechecking from the two. Um, Yo creo que también tiene que ver con el, el grado de estar nervioso. From the two uh, attackers, and uh, Karen even tries to go in for another goal, but they play it safe uh, a little bit more than uh, 10 minutes now. And uh, uh, if the Castores cannot uh, break free and out of the, the defending position, they will lose this game because uh, a Karen is... Uh, pretty able to hold the ball uh, uh, in the corner and fend off everything uh, the two attackers from uh, uh, the Castores can throw at them. We have now, uh, uh, from the after the penalty, already two minutes Akaron is playing in the corner and uh, uh, they, are, uh, they, they are undisturbed, almost undisturbed um, by the Castores and play it clever up and down. The Castores have uh, swim and uh, work hard while uh, Akaren is uh, using the advantage of uh, having uh, five players uh, in the water and playing up and down so Castores have to work and work and work and uh, while uh, four of them are uh, doing the uh, up and down work uh, the um, ah no but now uh, Castores managed uh, 
to, to get the ball after uh, more than two minutes after the penalty. And, uh, but uh, you see Castores are worn out from uh, the uh, defending work uh, they were uh, doing the last uh, two minutes. And it's hard for them to build up the speed against the forechecking from McCarden. Um, nine minutes left. This is a uh, very, very, very difficult uh, situation for uh, um, uh, the Castores because they have to open up, they have to uh, uh, go in with all they have, but uh, they have to score uh, at least two times to, to go in the penalties. And this is super difficult in this, uh, uh, in this situation. The clock is ticking against them. They will come from the open side now, but uh, they're lacking the push we've seen in the beginning. Uh, they look tired and they're tackled away from the basket of a car and the ball is falling down. Nobody saw it from the Castores and the Akaran players uh, recovered and we have now several Akaran players going on the bottom of the basket for uh, um, the goal of the Castores and we're back in the corner. Eight uh, minutes left after the penalty, after the 2-0. So um, this is... Uh, I'd, I'd say uh, if, if the Castores don't change uh, their, um, how they deal with the, with the way Akarnan plays, uh, they will lose this game um, with 2-0 because uh, Akarnan is too clever and too experienced to, uh, to yeah, put I mean, any I, danger I see it on, on their goal. Uh, very, very not dangerous, very difficult for Castores to recover from the 2-0. We have seen a Karen is very disciplined. I mean, there are always two or three players underwater. Yes. Always. And I repeat, constantly. always. It's a, constantly. It's, it's what I said. It's and this, this well-oiled machine. Yeah. yeah, it's a well-oiled machine. They are playing it cool. This, it's a different style. Uh, because um, they are they are in the zone, they look, know. I mean, yes, uh, Castora should go and, yes, and do this. They are undisturbed because they are getting rest there. They are just playing yeah. the ball around, getting rest, getting air. And when they get there, they come and they attack again. In, in, in this situation, you should s give up the defending yeah. under the yeah. goal. So yeah. yeah, and, and, and go, go and for checking yes. and take the risk. You are yeah. Definitely. Well, it makes no sense to defend your goal with two people. No. Uh, if the, 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 the Akan control the ball it like this and you see... Uh, the, the I'm, the I'm a little bit surprised. They, they don't come into the, 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 the ball possession anymore. Yes. No? And no? one going the same pattern. It's going, going on. Yeah, it's going on like that. Uh, can go on the next middle, six minutes. They're going in the corner again. Yeah, and that, that, that rested. Middle again. After two minutes, you have air yeah, to attack, and and, well. and they don't want to lose the ball. They are playing yeah. really clever. They have two goals. They don't need to even to attack. Yes. They can yeah. play. And, and they wore uh, wear out uh, the the Castores because uh, we see now uh, the the defenders are not for checking, but they are uh, uh, tired. So they tire them, wear them out. Look. Lo, lo que estamos diciendo, chicos, para la gente de Colombia que está mirando, es que las castoras están muy pasivas y las chicas de Noruega están en la esquina recuperando aire, moviendo el balón, simplemente porque no quieren perderlo, porque quieren tener la posesión del balón, porque ya tienen dos goles, no tienen que arriesgar, no tienen que atacar, no tienen que hacer nada. Y la única forma que Castoras puede todavía hacer algo es eh, saliendo de la forma defensiva, dejando a la portera y haciendo todo lo que pueden para recuperar ese valor en la esquina, porque las chicas de Akaren no van a atacar realmente, están simplemente relajándose y, y esperando que termine el tiempo. Entonces, eh, eso sería nuestra humilde opinión. So, uh, yes, it's an, uh, now uh, Castores uh, uh, recover the ball, but they lose it in the middle of the pool, because, like I said, uh, the, the players of Castores look tired from this constant defending uh, without purpose in this case, because Akaran was not really attacking, just playing it cool in the corner. Yeah, they're just, you know, like waiting exactly. for the Exactly, but nevertheless, the uh, um, it, it wears the Castores down. They don't have the energy now for the counter-attack. They were over the half, lost the ball there, and uh, now Akaran is in attacking mode on the open side, and oh, uh, could, could, could even have been a chance for Akaran to score yeah. here. We have three of the Akaran, three of the Castores, four white against two blue, Passing on the side, go attacking from above, that's a typical attack from the Norwegian. Uh, coming uh, from uh, above, attacking and passing down, and now the goalie is gone. The fierce 
uh, call fight from the referee. And something now is she's pointed out uh, the referee to free throw against a current looks okay. like. <coughs> okay, this is a uh, uh, possibility for Castores at least uh, to score once here. For what happened? I think the uh, free throw was executed too fast or the uh, she was moving. So yes, um, um, it's three minutes, clock is ticking, uh, and the Castores now put pressure on the basket of Akarim, um, but the time is working against them, and uh, Akarim is too experienced to... Uh, uh three minutes and a half, and now it's a cluster. It's the first one almost in the surface. True. I've been such a... Uh, flow in this game, and now the Castoras recover the ball, and are but you already have four current players. Look, five, and 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 it just uh, it amazed me the discipline, the air, the, strate the strategic uh, they have. It's really really nice to see. And now we have Castoras trying to attack, but the four checking of a current is constantly, constantly. There's not a gap. And they cannot build up, uh, Castoras cannot build up the, the waves uh, to, to force the, the mistakes. I mean, Akaren is playing with almost without mistake. They improve uh, a lot. I mean, uh, I mean they have had a great tactical game since the beginning, but uh, right now they're, they're really showing what from they're capable from of. From the performance, I think Akaren is definitely the best game, uh, the best team here uh, in the Champions Cup, Women's uh, Champions Cup. Uh, they they can uh, 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 unfold their their uh, style of playing uh, in every situation, and uh, they have the the condition to do it, uh, the mental strength. Um, very very good work uh, from a Karen here. The clock is ticking two minutes, and uh, it's getting almost impossible for uh, Castores. And the way they play now, you see that it's. it's uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, There's some, uh, desperate. Fault and something. Call from the referee. For I, I don't know if it's uh, against. Uh, uh, a ver, what happened? Well, Another time call out. from the referee. Uh, okay, timeout. Timeout. Probably a Karen. Yes. Um. Looks like a Karen because they come. Uh, the the yeah. team who calls the timeout goes together at once to talk something, and uh, Castores, they just they're just. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, great, uh, great game, but uh, yeah. Well, d w we have to say... Well, what we see, that is uh, typical what I explained uh, of many ladies' games is that bar control wins game. And in the attack mode, there were 20, 25 passes uh, of a Karen with uh, the Castors had even not a chance to come close to the ball. And when you lead this with 2-0, you just take the, the the time of the clock. Yeah. So that's uh, that's it's one thirty six uh, remaining time. So it's uh, for me. Uh, I, I would say it's impossible. To uh, I mean, nah, it has to be two horrible mistakes from a Karen, and um, that looks difficult. That is uh, now. It will be very tough. That uh, still to have. Uh, a chance and they are smart uh, the, the defense is yeah very uh, good organized they were not under pressure the long time so experienced players so from what we see uh, um, uh, Karen controlled the game uh, after the the first after the penalty and this is 12 and this is 10 minutes ago and they totally controlled the game they did before but uh, they control it with a 2-0. Um, 
misunderstanding here. Uh, it looks like uh, we have a free throw of the Castores against uh, Akaren. One minute 30 left. Um, if we don't see a big mistake from Akaren, and uh, if we, uh, the only thing could uh, change the game now uh, uh, would be uh, all the Akaren players out of the water and doing a <laughs> dance uh, uh, at the poolside. No, but don't be like this. I mean, they no, no, uh, it's, 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 uh, I don't see the way the, the game unfolded until now. Uh, I don't see a chance uh, for Castores to change it at that moment. Um, Karen is, is just uh, too, uh, they, they uh, know. They have, they have the ball now. It's uh, 50, yeah. 50 seconds. They yeah, have here great we go. They go control. again in the same pattern, so. And they know, everybody knows in the pool what has happened. 40 seconds and... Uh yeah, well, um, it for, but we have to say, and I wanted to say this before, uh, for the Castores it's the first Champions Cup and to be on the place uh, two in the women's uh, 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 placing is, is very, very good for a first appearance. It's not the first appearance of a Colombian uh, women's team, but the uh, Castores uh, are here for the first time. Yes, I know, but normally if you think that Orcas have been coming for seven years and they won Orcas, then and Orcas have always been uh, in between the, third, um, the three places uh, of the Champions Cup, then uh, even if that's for Probably them the first time, they have, I mean, it's... Um, it would have been a very disappointing if they wouldn't have made it on the first three places, because that's um, true. That's uh, so absolutely second true. Congratulations to Congra Akan for the championship. Yes, and, and uh, yeah, with yeah, with yeah. More congratulations, and also to the Castores for the second place. I mean, but really, this. I mean, I have to say, uh, I'm really uh, impressed by the Akaren. Uh, impressed in the in the in the. I knew how the, that they can play like this, but the consistency we have seen yes. this tactic. In every game, it was the team that played most consistently to my eyes. And that's nice to see because normally that's difficult to see. Uh, you know, have better days, better games, depending. Sometimes you play according to your opponent. But the Akaren girls really had a really uh, consistent way totally. of, of, of having a, uh, their, their style. And that was really nice to see on the screen. A well old machine uh, uh, that we saw and they played cool. And very we are talking about the machine, we are talking about uh, female athletes. We are talking about a team and a team is uh, like a clockwork. If you uh, tune it right, it uh, uh, can uh, show you the precise time and uh, go for it like, like that. So it is uh, very impressive um, what they did. So uh, we are coming in. Oh, we got a little gift from you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.